So, hier ist ein 30 Minuten Video auf jeden Fall. Der Titel ist Flat Earthers vs. Scientist. Thema Can we trust science? Drei Leute, die glauben, dass die Erde flach ist, diskutieren mit drei Wissenschaftlern und das klingt nach einem riesigen Haufen Scheiße, den ich mir unbedingt reinziehen will. Lass uns das mal bitte, lass uns das mal bitte erklären. Also, drei Leute. Auf der rechten Seite Wissenschaftler, die wissen, dass die Erde rund ist. Auf der linken Seite die Leute. <lacht> Let's go! Ich werde zwischenzeitlich mal kurz übersetzen für die Leute, die im Englisch eher gedacht haben, ja, aber mit der Jacqueline, da will ich aber mehr. Aber will ich mehr. Ich denke, das wird was Langfristiges. Und nicht zugehört haben, werde ich immer mal eine Übersetzung starten, okay? Alright, cool. Also der Sound ist sehr schlecht. Ich kann auch nicht lauter machen, aber wir haben Untertitel. Um, I don't think, I know for a fact it's a globe. The Earth is flat. It's like we have this uh, picture of reality that's a big puzzle piece, mm. and then one of those pieces was just wasn't fitting. I'm always open to having a discussion with someone who is holding a wrong belief like this. Are you willing to change your mind? I'm not. The evidence is so much. Nobody wants to be a flat earther, but if you showed me incontrovertible evidence, I would definitely go back. Who wants the ridicule? Where are you going to get from the discussion? I'd like to tear them to pieces. Er muss schon lachen. <lacht> I'm Jim Underdown, Executive Director of the Center for Inquiry West in Los Angeles and the Chair of the CFI Investigations Group. I'm Spencer Marks, one of the senior members of the CFI Investigations Group, Science Advocate. I am Madi Nayiri, I'm a theoretical physicist, and I'm with the University of uh, Irvine. I am Wendell Walton, I am a chief learning officer for a young startup. I'm Shelley Lewis, I'm a graduate of West Point, critical thinker. <laughs> ich bin Absolventin des kritischen Denkens. <laughs> Jumped out of the airplanes. Was heißt, wer bist du? Ja, ich bin, ich bin übrigens Absolvent des kritischen Denkens und ich, ich springe gerne aus Flugzeugen. My name is Dan Glattman. I work as Dan the Waterman in the drinking water filtration industry and I'm a truth seeker. Hm, Wahrheitssucher. Mhm. Ja, klar. I get my flat earthers on the left and my globe earthers on the right. Ah, ja. Oh God. Well, I, I've been a Christian for 30 years, so um, the Bible is a flat earth book. You have to take it literally. Like for example, in Isaiah, when it talks about how the earth is like a clay wa wax seal that's stamped with upturned edges, that's just not some fancy story. That's a simile. It is like. Right, absolutely. Right? And in Isaiah it talks about too, and I'm a Christian. Uh, he ah, Glauben. Ach, Religion, wo ist wundervoll. It sits upon the circle of the earth. There's a difference between a circle and a ball. Weißt du, irgendwann wird irgendjemand mal diese Materialien sehen, ne? Irgendwann wird das jemand ausgraben, so. Es wird so ein Szenario geben. Acht arme, achtarmiger Alien, der auf so einem staubtrockenen Planeten ankommt. Geht so durch die Gegend. Ah. Ah. Geht in so eine Ruine ein, ja? Seine, seine, seine Spinnenaugen öffnen sich. Kann alles perfekt sehen. Und da drin ist so ein, so ein alter PC. Und dann macht er diesen. Und dann kommt da so ein USB-Stick. 
nimmt mit primitives Datenmaterial, aber er kennt es, er kann es auslesen. Und dann läuft dieser Film und er denkt sich nur so, äh, Hurensohn. <lacht> ja gut, das war jetzt natürlich überspitzt, natürlich, klar. Sorry. Well, exactly. Yeah. If you look at the original uh, Hebrew, it means disk. There's two, over 200 scriptures in the Bible that point to a flat earth. Er sitzt schon da und denkt, Gott, ich habe kein Budget, ich habe kein Geld dafür angenommen, aber was mache ich hier? Oh Gott, oh Bruder, was mache ich hier? So this notion that you need God or some higher power to create the earth or the universe is very old um, and was initially posited by people of a pre-scientific age. Since then, we have learned quite a bit about Uh, the universe coming into existence when that happened. Modern humans don't get their cosmology, they don't get their physics, they don't get their knowledge of the universe from the Bible or any ancient text. It's sort of like the God of the gaps. Once, you know, people used to believe that lightning was God's wrath and throwing these lightning bolts, but once we understood it was a natural process, God shrank a little bit more because now we couldn't attribute those lightning bolts to God. We had to attribute that to the real science. Um, and the other thing, the point about the Bible specifically for me is why is that one particular text the correct one? You choose to believe that. And that's fine, but there's so many other writings and so many other books, so why weren't they correct? Why is just the, the Bible correct? Well, what you'll find in a lot of these ancient religions is they're all flat earth religions. All their cosmology goes back to being a flat earth. Die hat so Psycho-Augen, Alter. Ja, 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 ja. So. With an enclosed system. So it's not just the Bible that teaches this. It's many different religious books. So one problem I have is to uh, trying to explain phenomena happen in nature Uh, by holy books. Those are religious books. Those are not books of science. And it is wrong to infer or deduct uh, scientific um, readings out of those books. My name is Wendell. I am a logical, uh, biblically based, uh, and scientific flat earther. I didn't start out, and no one starts out as a flat earther. But I had a lot of questions. So I actually got to the point where I had to go out and, and put my own eyeballs on it. So we went out uh, to an observation at Salton Sea, and things just didn't add up down there. So we've gone back uh, probably a dozen times, and I can guarantee you that there is no curvature of the Gruß geht raus an den Cutter, das wird ein langes Video. Cheers, Chet! Cheers! We have the advantage of information today that's outside of uh, channels 2, 4, and 7 and the, the few networks that are corporately Lösch owned. Alle. It's pretty easy to say YouTube isn't genau research, but when you spend enough time, you're picking up quite a bit. And with the discussion groups, panels, we've uh, gone against opposition. We've opposed ourselves. Uh, surprisingly enough, Flat Earth is its own worst enemy. So it's not that easy for us to come to consensus. And we find the consensus is orchestrated and not actually scientific in any way. You know, my grandfather used to tell me growing up, never believe anything you read in the newspaper. <laughs> Niemals was glauben, was in den Nachrichten. Niemals. Niemals. Right? He told that to me. Now, with the age of the internet, it's like, you know, how much of this misinformation are you getting there? And when you have, like, eyewitnesses taking video of... Das Internet, hat es, das Internet ist wirklich ein Problem in diesem Zusammenhang. Crazy. Something you do have to uh, take everything with a grain of salt. Aber ich zahle That's jetzt why auch. Ruhe. Because of my, um, my multimedia background, I knew that all that stuff could be faked. You know, take it into Photoshop, take it into After Effects. 
Bruder. Den, der hat so lichtes Haar, dass ich förmlich in sein flaches Gehirn reingucken kann. Okay, this is at the core of the issue of why there are so many flat earth believers out there right now. The problem is, the information from someone who decides to start a website or produce a YouTube video is not reliable. When I have a toothache, I go to a dentist. When my car breaks down, I go to a mechanic. When you have questions about cosmology, you should go to an astrophysicist, you should go to a physicist, you should go to people who spent years and years studying these ideas. Not some six minute YouTube video. Der wird jetzt hier gleich richtig angefahren, wahrscheinlich, weil genau das ist tatsächlich ein Problem. Ja? There is a percentage of people that if they saw a YouTube video that was not within their scientific chops to refute on the face of it, would believe anything out there. Yeah. One of the things I will say is NASA.gov oh, has their own documents out there that we get to vet, which is through the Freedom of Information Act. And would you agree that NASA documents, if they're on display, that we should be able to go and research inside there? NASA is not proving that the Earth is flat. Yeah. Well, they say well, in 14 you should, of the documents. you should read what NASA says. Okay. You should listen to what NASA says. I would says. love to see your NASA all, evidence all, that the Earth is It's flat. only their contradictory issues okay, that bring see. us here. We're all familiar with the Earth rise <laughs> photo, right? The Earth is rising over the moon. We're all familiar with it. That's NASA. You can go out to NASA's site. You can download the original, right? I already know what you're going to ask. So you bring up the luminance on it, and you can see where it's cut out and pasted there. They're showing us doctored images. that are clearly doctored. The blue marble is a very famous image from 1972. When you talk to the artist from NASA, his name is Robert Simmons, he talks about exactly how it was created from data, and it's not a photograph whatsoever. He added so clouds. Let me, let me explain. He added a highlight of the if sun. If you take, you know, on your phone, most phones have that panoramic image. When you do that, you're taking a series of pictures and the phone cleverly stitches that together. I'm just how it's presented. It's Hold presented on. as a real photo. So when NASA takes real photos and they either clean them up for color or they stitch them together so it's one large image, it doesn't mean they're CGI. You're talking about composites. I'm what you call a globe denier. Um, you could even get me into a virtual construct if I can't find the, the borders myself. It appears to me to be a stationary plane, as opposed to the vastness of infinity of space. I would find it to be an ice plane where we have a localized sun and our environment thrives there. You know, these, these particular people have misled us on television. This is a brilliant opportunity to speak. We've been suppressed, censored by mainstream media. Alternative media is, is just a thing of beauty for me. I view the other side as uneducated. I'm running. Oh Gott, Alter. <lacht> ich finde es gerade unglaublich, dass die Wissenschaftler stehen bleiben. Die, die bleiben da stehen, Alter. Und die bleiben da nicht stehen, weil sie nicht glauben, dass die gegenüber dumm sind, was sie durchaus glauben. Die bleiben da stehen, weil sie es nicht richtig finden, jemanden so nennen zu müssen und das halt dazu führen würde, dass die noch verkappter sind in ihrer Ansicht. Aber guck dir das an. Guck dir das an. Da sitzen sie jetzt. Die Aussage war, ich sehe die Gegenseite als ungebildet an. Well, they, they certainly think they're educated. And they're following um, quite a bit of, you know, the university system, what we call scientism. Right, scientism. Obviously is the belief in what's, um, what's written, where we tend to be exploring um, in the field with physical properties, not theories of any kind. We're using actual measurements that are calculated not by our guidelines but the guidelines of science as we know it i can only hope they're uneducated as opposed to disingenuous er hat gerade gesagt er kann nur hoffen dass sie ungebildet sind im gegensatz zu un, in, im gegensatz zu lügnern oder unehrlich well that's the other thing too because we know that it was on a large scale the government has been disingenuous and they're 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 pushing a narrative Right? So it's, it's hard for us. I mean, I'm sure that you've met people too. It's like, look, are you just, you haven't looked into it yet? 
or are you a shill? Are you, are you part of a disinformation campaign? A shill is someone who pretends to be a supporter, but is really undermining from within. Solche Leute, und damit meine ich die Perspektive, nicht die Menschen an sich. Menschen mit diesen Behauptungen gab es schon immer wahrscheinlich. Das Internet hat ihnen nur die Möglichkeit gegeben, sich zu verbinden und sich Rückhalt zu geben in ihren unglaublich spekulativen Positionen. YouTube, Social Media, Facebook, alles, was ihr... You name it, es hat dafür gesorgt, dass die Leute sich gruppieren und ihre, ihre, Position, ihre Position halt verstärken und fangen neue Leute ein, die selber verwirrt sind. Was, mich, was ich nicht verstehen kann, und ich hoffe, die Frage wird gestellt, warum spielt es eine Rolle, zu glauben, dass die Erde flach ist? Was beweist man damit? Also wo ist der, wo ist der Aufhänger? Was ist der... Ist es das dagegen sein? Ist es das Erreichen? Ist das so eine, ist das eine innere Befriedigung? Hat es da irgendwie, ist es das Recht haben? Ich meine, wo liegt der Mehrwert für jemanden, der das sagt? Wo ist denn am Ende die, die, der Vorteil, die Genugtuung? Oder ist, ist das, geht es um Genugtuung? Geht es um Geld? Ist das das Ego? Ist das die eigene Unfähigkeit, Fehler im Ablauf seiner, seines Gedankentuns einzugestehen? Ist das sowas? So, was ist der Vorteil? Wir leben in einer Welt, in der alles in 24 Stunden auf diesem globalen System, in einem, einem, einem globalen System, die Globalisierung hat alles erreichbar gemacht. Und hier sitzen wir in einem Stuhlkreis, wo Leute sagen, die Erde ist flach. Das ist crazy. Verrückt. Ja, jetzt bin ich am gespannt. I don't think you guys are uneducated. I think you're wrongly educated. I think the problem with what I've seen in the flat earth crowd is that It's not that they're undereducated, but they, instead of looking at evidence and letting the evidence guide to where the ultimate conclusion is, they start with a conclusion and Und suchen sich evidence. Genau, er sagt das sehr gut. They try to cherry pick evidence to support their pre-drawn conclusion. Genau, er sagt was sehr interessantes. Also, das Problem mit Flat Earthern ist nicht, dass sie dumm sind oder ungebildet, sondern dass sie eine eine fehlgeleitete äh, Informationsstruktur haben. Nämlich, dass sie sich ein Ergebnis aussuchen, also die Erde ist flach, und dann suchen sie sich die Information, die dieses Ergebnis unterstützt. Und das ist natürlich, fe das ist natürlich fe fehl am Platz. Ja? Das sorgt nicht dafür, dass man irgendwas nach vorne bringt. Oder dass man, also das ist halt falsch. Ja klar, anstatt anstelle sich von den, von den wissenschaftlichen Belegen leiten zu lassen und zu gucken, wie das Ergebnis ist, haben die ein Ergebnis und suchen sich wissenschaftliche Belege, die genau das unterstützen. Interessanter Standpunkt. Sehr gut gesagt. Cast away all the bits of evidence that actually is contrary to their beliefs. Yeah. I, I think that you're very well educated as well as you are, are Jim. But Certainly Ali is. He's and, probably and, got the best education he, of yeah, all of he, us. <laughs> exactly, and he paid for it too. Um, But more and more uh, professionals are coming on board. They're starting to question their reality. So the thing of it is, is once you start to really look, take a hard look at the evidence, and you are, are unafraid of just standing for the truth, wherever that may lead you, uh, then um, you, people end up becoming flat earthers. Was, hoffst du, was erhoffst du dir von der Diskussion heute? I'm hoping to be able to tell our side of the story from the inside out. So many times flat earthers are depicted from the outside in. And I want to be able to share with others empirical data. Empirische Daten, die sie bis jetzt auch noch nicht gezeigt haben. That proves the earth is not what we've been told. I have changed my mind at some point. Keiner bleibt stehen. Äh, keiner setzt sich hin. Lol, warte mal, was? Was war die Frage jetzt? I have changed my mind at some point about this topic. Okay, was haben sie sich denn da geändert? Hä? Hä? So, when I was 12 years old, I went to space camp and I met Alan B. Shepard. Oh, nice. Yep, yep, and I wanted to be an astronaut and I wanted to be the first woman to walk the moon. Oh. So, um, for me... Ah, schade, dass das alles nur erfunden ist. Oh. Muss eine, muss eine schreckliche Erfahrung gewesen sein als Kind. Ja, die Erde ist übrigens flach, Jacqueline. Was? Die ist flach? Ja, du kannst nicht zum Mond. Was? No. I'm a glober. I went into this completely wanting it to be true. My husband told me, you know, he saw this thing about the fake moon landing. And I was like, you're absolutely crazy. 
there's no way that the moon landings are fake. And then in 2010, my husband was killed. And so I never really developed that until around um, 2014 when Flat Earth kind of came back up. What the fuck? And that, sorry, and that little voice inside my head said, remember the fake moon landings? Remember when that was brought to my attention? And then I started really critically analyzing that. And I would say, you know, just looking at that evidence, if they can lie about the moon landings, they can certainly lie about pictures and satellites. Holy shit, sie ist also emotional vorbelastet. Sie hat also ein tragisches Erlebnis mit dem Tod ihres Mannes, der ihr gesagt hat, dass der Moon halt, dass die Mondlandung falsch ist. Und diese Stimme in ihrem Hinterkopf sorgt dafür, dass sie da immer wieder drauf stößt. Oh mein Gott, Alter. And other things. And so I started going down that rabbit hole of, mm. of studying. So that was my influence. How many lies does it take to make a liar, right? And, and being ridiculed for being inquisitive um, is, is pretty tough on us. I wouldn't say. Das ist genau. Er hat aber recht, was er sagt. Er sagt, ähm, lächerlich gemacht werden ist ziemlich krass. Und das ist auch der Grund, warum die diese Position haben. Die haben diese Position mal gehabt, ja? Die haben irgend, in irgendeinem Treffen mit irgendjemandem gesagt, ich glaube, dass die Erde flach ist. Und derjenige, der das als erstes aufgenommen hat, hat den Typen ausgelacht und hat ihn lächerlich gemacht. Und deswegen glauben die noch stärker daran. Die Reaktion hat versagt. Ihr merkt vielleicht, dass ich natürlich hier schockiert bin darüber, was die erzählen. Aber ich scheue mich davor, die auszulachen. Und ich frage mich manchmal, was passiert wäre, wenn man solche Leute oder Leute, die sowas denken, an die Hand genommen hätte und gesagt hätte, okay, kann man darüber reden. Das sind die Sachen, die du von uns gestellt kriegst. Das ist das, du kannst gerne ständig Dialog, es kann ein Dialog stattfinden damit die sich nicht in ihren Konklaven verstecken und das alles verweigern. That I've changed my mind because my mind isn't set. NASA is, is, is solely designed to change my mind. It is from its inception, from its discovery, has been a television program, it's been a space program to sell us on something that they've yet to actually show us. Show me a globe spinning with clouds and a moon. Show me home. Er möchte, dass die NASA ihm zeigt, dass die Erde rund ist. <lacht> oh Mann. Und dann würde er ruhig sein. Jetzt. Hm. The timing of your conversions is interesting to me. 20 years ago, the flat Earth world was tiny and insignificant. Uh, enter the advent of the internet, YouTube, online discussion groups, all these new available places where you could find information about everything. This is true that the evidence as you looked were not a robust evidence. And the sources you used, they were not reliable sources again. But my problem is that, and I, I, I like you guys that you are very skeptical, But at the same time, you are not a skeptical about your belief system. You that should have come back. first. You, you, you think that that's my foundation for why I believe the earth is flat. And I'm telling you, you're wrong. Okay. I have evidence that proves it's flat. What that type of evidence? It's not yeah. a ball. What you type of evidence? We're being misled. We're being deliberately misled by mainstream Now, media. What's your evidence? You're We thinking. see too far. We see too far. We should not be able to see. I live in Dana Point. Okay. Jetzt kommt ihr Argument, dass sie zu weit. Wir sehen zu viel. Also, wenn sie den Horizont runterguckt, kann sie keine Krümmung. Okay. Oh nein. I can see San Clemente Island, which is 60 miles away. So what? It's very high. What do you mean so what? Oh, I'm It's on the beach. Feet I'm on the beach. It is what do you tall. mean by so what? I'm on the beach. But, yeah, yeah. Can you see a ship which is going? We're oh yeah, let's talk about, about the ship that goes yes. over the curvature okay. of the Earth. I love so. that. So, <laughs> science has said that when I see a ship go out of my field of view, it's going over the curvature of the Earth, correct? Yes. But then I bring my P900 up, and guess what? I can zoom it back in. Not so is it time. going over the curvature of the no, Earth or not? Absolutely. Oh, not all the time? No, no, you don't see all the ship. The bottom part of the ship yes. is hidden by the curvature. At that distance, yeah. you shouldn't see the top At of it all. either. If the das Argument, was sie macht, ist, aber wenn ich am Strand stehe und eine Insel sehe, die so und so weit weg ist, warum kann ich die sehen? Er sagt, ja, weil da ein Berg drauf ist und man die Spitze sieht. Ja, aber ich kann die ja sehen. 
er sagt, okay, kannst du die Schiffe sehen, die dahin fahren? Weil sie fahren ja über die Rundung hinweg. Ja, aber nur das, das obere Ende des Schiffs kann ich sehen. Ja, weil das untere hinter der Curve ist. Earth were truly flat, there would be really hardly any limit. You would be able to stand at the top of the Empire State Building and look toward Chicago, a mere thousand miles away, and see the lights of Chicago at night. No, why, why wouldn't no because you? you have an atmospheric disturbance. Very it, thick. I, I've been into alone. astronomy since I was 10. It's faulty logic. Mm. It's completely faulty logic. Okay. Und hier merkt man halt auch, dass das nichts mit Logik zu tun hat, weil das nicht logische Argumente sind, die man bringt, sondern das ist was damit zu tun hat, dass man so vernarrt ist in diesem Glauben an diese Thematik, dass es unglaublich schwierig ist, Leute vom Gegenteil zu überzeugen oder unmöglich, um genau zu sein. One of the big things I do is investigate extraordinary claims like flat eartherism or ESP or all sorts of different things. The Earth is undoubtedly a globe and not flat. This is well supported by gobs of science. What is the question? I don't understand the Scientific question. Scientific consensus is possible. Possible. Anything is possible. I mean, anything is possible. I, I've, got a, I've got a tremendous issue with consensus and peer review. I've been spending a lot of time arguing the other, with people that argue the other side. And I found that surprisingly, consensus always wins. It, it was shocking to me that the group with the majority has an incredible advantage. As scientists, flat earthers, truthers, punks, we're an incredible disadvantage. Lasst uns ein paar Let's talk about scientific consensus for a second. You're never going to get 100% of it. Scientific consensus is possible. Also, ähm, äh, wissenschaftliche Belege sind möglich. Oder meint der Konsens? Der wissenschaftliche Konsens ist möglich. Also, die wissenschaftliche Einigung. Ja. Let's talk about scientific consensus for a second. You're never going to get 100% of anyone. There is scientific consensus on a global Earth. There's scientific consensus on evolution. A lot of big They issues. Use the word theory. No. Do you know what a, a theory in science is? An extremely and a, fa and a fact is me, a fact. Don't mistake this word theory. You are in not science. Me. It's not conjecture. It's not. It's an explanation. Is, is it by definition? Well, it's an well explanation. It's a deep. Well, let's talk so about this. Warum labert er dazwischen, Adra? Something. Show me a People fact. Made a mistake. They think theory is, theories. In science, the word theory is the highest level that you can give something because it's so well supported. What about a fact? That is a fact. It's it's, it's well, not Okay, seine Argumentation ist jetzt, dass eine Theorie nur eine Theorie ist. Was er aber auch nicht versteht, ist, dass in der Wissenschaft eine eine wissenschaftliche Theorie sich schon auf sehr viel stützt, was das halt unterstützt. Aber du und das hat der andere gesagt, du niemals die 100% erreichst, sondern immer nur 99,99. The fact you would call it you a know fact. Why? Do you know why? Because in science there's always room for improvement. There's always mm. room mm. to find to better tweak. to tweak and find better information. So that is how science works. It gets better refined over time as opposed to flat earth theory which never gets refined. It simply is what it is. New and ideas have limited access to media and limited exposure. Until we're in a university curriculums, we will continue to appear uneducated. Well, that's not true. In the history of science, we had many occasions that it, the idea is, it was not welcomed by the society. Einstein was one of them. Galileo. Galileo was one of them. Mm -hmm. But if your theory is an authentic one, and it can be go through this hardship of scientific method, eventually will win. I used to believe that science was after the truth. Right? <sighs> oh God, jetzt kommt's. Right? They just, we all just want to know what the truth is. Science has been trying so hard to divorce itself from the idea of a creator when God's intent was to create science to lead you to him. You know, sometimes things seem supernatural uh, that we are able to explain later through, you know, science. Okay, I understand. But there are other things as well that are supernatural, that go beyond the natural, that we can only explain uh, through believing in a creator, 
right? This is my big issue with science, uh, scientific approach and non-scientific approach. You are absolutely right. In science, we are after the truth. And we are hoping by each day we're getting closer and closer to the truth. We never get there. Never. Well, that's, I know that's true for you. And I, no, no, I that's a science. Die Wahrheit für dich und die Wahrheit für dich auch so ein Argument. Was ist deine Wahrheit? That's, that's you guys. You think you do have the truth. Now let's look at the evidences. As you were mentioning, you do have the conclusion. Let's find the evidences. Science doesn't work that that's way. Not well, that's not true. That is not true. Well, you are saying you, no. you are referring to Jesus, who many billions of people do not believe, including myself. And many more billions do. So what? So, so who's right? Of course I right. can. So the, when you say that we start with a conclusion and then try to match everything to make it work, yeah. like that to me is complete dishonesty. Aber so funktioniert ja das Modell, das ist schon richtig. That is not true at all. That is what you are doing no, right now. No, you're not. You're making that assumption. No. Which I think science assumption. does a lot of. Well, so do you I, make I, assumptions I'm, or I'm, not? Does science make assumptions? Know. Does science no, make well, assumptions? Well, yeah, we, course. Course. Okay. Well, we do make assumptions but, based on things that are well supported and bias. proven and reproven. Bias. We don't have Show to... me how you isolate gravity. <laughs> hmm. If gravity we is don't an have assumption, to... you show me in the scientific method how you isolate gravity. We've done the action. Yeah, sure. Man merkt immer, dass die das Stimmung hochkocht, wenn die Frau versucht, sich ihrem, ihrem Zeig mir bitte, wie Gravitation funktioniert und, und diesen auf Emotion, sehr emotionalen Schüben wiedergibt. Sie hat aber selber die Erklärung gegeben, bevor sie, also sie versteht gar nicht, dass sie die Erklärung gegeben hat. Die Erklärung, der, warum diese Frau so emotional aufgeladen ist, weil sie ihren verstorbenen Mann tragischerweise mit der Frage nach der, ist der Mond, hat der Mond die Mondlandung stattgefunden? Und diese Mondlandung dient dann als diese, diese Stimme im Hintergrund von jemandem, den du verloren hast, tragischerweise, um alles in Frage zu stellen. Und jedes Mal, wenn jemand kommt und deine dadurch stattfindende Frage deine durch stattfindende Skepsis, deine durch, dadurch stattfindende Realitätsleugnung versucht zu ändern, greift er auch gleichzeitig die Theorie deines verstorbenen Verwandten, Freundes, Gatten, Ehemann, hat sie gesagt, an. Und das ist was super Emotionales. Also halte ich es gar nicht für möglich, mit dieser ähm, jungen Dame zu diskutieren. In dem Moment hätte ich sie rausgenommen tatsächlich. Was willst du tun? Keine Möglichkeit. Sie soll das denken. Für diese Diskussion total ungeeignet. I kind of feel like I want to develop some of this stuff a little bit more. It feels high level, but I feel like there's so much that I haven't really even touched base on. Well, I mean, I, I certainly didn't think that anybody was gonna, on either side was going to flip. Well, I, there's still time. There's still time. I, I have hope for you, Wendell, oh. and Shelly. I don't know about Dan. I have hope for you, too. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it's certainly, I'm glad it's a civil discussion, certainly. Oh, yeah. Put your waters to the side, and we'll do another round. Hey, one more side. Good. He flipped! <laughs> Wendell, welcome aboard. Welcome. <laughs> the greatest moment in television history right there. Good day. Uh, all right. NASA is trustworthy. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so, I, I mean, obviously any organization can be wrong with certain things, and they... Uh, may have individuals that uh, lie or deceive or something, but as a general organization, um, they're looking for the truth. Yeah, the idea that NASA and the government is lying to us about the shape of the Earth is the height of conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. In order for this to be Die Frage war, NASA ist vertrauenswürdig. Ist die NASA, also die Raumfahrt, Organisation der Staaten, da ist sie vertrauenswürdig. Darum sitzen die da. True. The literally hundreds of thousands of people who at some point over the last 50 or 60, 60 years 
would have to had to be somewhat complicit in this, and nobody spills the beans at all, is on the face of it completely unbelievable. Er sagt was sehr Interessantes. Er sagt, die Theorie aufzustellen, dass die NASA lügt und die Regierung es allen verheimlicht, ist so irre, weil niemand aus den internen Kreisen dazu als Quelle zur Verfügung steht. Also es ist nicht so, dass da kommen Leute raus, oh, was ich heute gesehen habe, Mann, das darfst du keiner erzählen. Ich war in so einem Raum und da war so ein Set. Das sind, da kommt auf einmal, da kommt auf einmal ein Typ und er sagt, hey, ich bin übrigens der Typ unter dem Neil Armstrong Kostüm. So, das passiert nicht. Ganz schwierig. Diese, also das verstehe ich, das ist ein sehr, sehr gutes Argument. Und jetzt kommt sie wieder. Aber ihr kommt. The private does not know what the general is doing. Okay, der ähm, Soldat weiß nicht, was der General macht. There's compartmentalization happening all the time. Of course. So it wouldn't be that far fetched. Has the government ever lied to us? Is really the question at stake. We all agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, But now we common ground. Now, now yeah, we, we now we have uh, <laughs> NASA.gov, right? And we oh. Absolutely, they're not lying about anything. They're completely transparent. Everything is true. We'd be no, foolish no, no. There's to think that's true. There's a difference here. I'm sorry. This is a fallacy here. There's not a difference. Fallacy. Nochmal, sie sollte raus. Sie sollte aus der Disku Diskussion raus. Sie hat da nichts zu suchen mehr. Uh, I'm sure it is. Go See, ahead. you were talking about a government. Now yeah. you're talking about an agency NASA. of the government. Gov. But th this agency is scrutinized by thousands and thousands of scientists around the globe. Hi. You are dealing with smart people, believe me. You are dealing with deny, smart people. I don't deny, I don't deny that. So it is very hard to do that. Once or twice, maybe. Not for the whole time. Sie sagt, glaubt ihr, dass sie schon mal gelogen hat, die Industrie, die Organisation? Alle sagen ja. Und deswegen kann man ihr nicht glauben. Was er jetzt sagt ist, du musst differenzieren, was sie nicht will. Differenzieren ist, dass diese Information, auf die sich die NASA stützt, ja von Wissenschaftlern durch über den ganzen Globus verteilt. Globus, ganz wichtiges Wort in diesem Fall kommt. Das heißt, es geht nicht um die, die Information, die die NASA rausgibt, sondern es gibt, es gibt ja auf dem ganzen Planeten, der rund ist, also ein Globus, die Informationen herkommen und NASA das nicht steuert. Also das versucht er jetzt hier zu sagen. Mal gucken, wie es funktioniert. <lacht> sie sollen die Hand reben, wenn sie glauben, dass wir tatsächlich auf dem Mond waren. What is the proof? Hundreds and hundreds of pounds of moon rocks and dust. And we have distributed those freely to PhD scientists around the world. And not one of those geologists have said, what is this? It's been proven to be fake. And no. Yes. Not, no. And collected on the ice in no, Antarctica talking, and yeah, in the absolutely. Arctic as well. There's Those are collected. You don't no. have to go to the moon to get moon rocks. As a matter of fact, all U.S. Air Force photography prior to 1958 shows a flat Earth. Only NASA shows That's a sphere. That's, That's, That's absolutely, absolutely not true, true. Jim. I wouldn't and, lie to you. And, and the other, the other, the other NASA's <laughs> lying to you, the, my friend. Not myself. Is we have a laser have retro reflector here. on the moon yeah. that we're using so, now. Do we still use to this day. Yeah. You, It's you sitting can, there. You can find to the inch how far away the moon no is. No pictures of home. That only is there. But, by no, the way, there are not. My question to you is, why? Why would all these honest, hardworking people perpetuate this massive fraud? Why would they do this? Endlich wird die Frage gestellt, warum sollten all diese Leute lügen? Also alle. Was ist der Vorteil? Why? Und jetzt kommt die Antwort. Und ich, jetzt, bin ich, jetzt bin ich ja mal gespannt, was die Antwort dieser, diese, die Beantwortung dieser Frage ist. Okay, the benefit of it. They make 52 million dollars a day. Follow Die alte all ist zu hart. No, the little guy. The 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 little guy. guy. That's what, then when you say all, okay. But it didn't start out that way. And NASA was not founded to prove that Earth was a globe. It had nothing to do with the way they were founded. Well, if you go and study Are you sure? Yeah, oh. positive. Really? Yes. Somebody has to be a voice for reason, and somebody has to be a voice for truth. 
it's, I, it would be a fantasy to believe that I would change anybody's mind from the other three. However, if there's somebody sitting on the fence, and this is the first introduction to this debate, perhaps they'll hear the reasonable voice and say, yeah, that makes more sense than having this pizza-shaped earth. I can put myself in the mindset of the other side. Ich kann mich in die Person gegenüber hineinversetzen. I used to be a ball earther. Everything you say right now is completely what I used to agree to. So I can Aber dann ist mein Mann gestorben und oh, die Erklärung ist halt so uff. Clearly understand where you're coming from. For me, I think the the correct way to do any kind of investigation or to examine things is by literally putting yourself in that mindset of the other person. So I do do that. I, don't, I disagree with your position, but I completely understand from your perspective where, what you're saying. Unless you live in a cave somewhere, you have to believe in science implicitly. I've, I met a flat earther, a young woman who said, I don't trust anything that science does. And That's a problem because human beings can't replicate the whole body of science every single generation. At some point, you have to trust what's already been discovered and proven and move on to the next thing. Otherwise, we're not going to advance at all. Mm. I mean, when you turn that key ignition in your car, you expect the car to start out. And not blow up. And not blow up because science puts you in that position. So it's really hard to understand how people would know in their hearts that science achieves wonderful things and then just jumping ship when it comes to this other issue. Interessante These, die er sagt, er sagt, wir müssen uns als Gesellschaft darauf stützen oder sollten, man sollte sich darauf stützen, was Wissenschaft bis jetzt belegt hat. Denn man kann ja nicht auf der einen Seite sagen, man glaubt diesem Bereich der Teilwissenschaft nicht, aber auf der anderen Seite lebt man im durch Wissenschaft erreichten Fortschritt, der unter anderem dafür sorgt, dass wenn du deinen Schlüssel in deinem Auto drehst, das Auto angeht und nicht irgendwie stehen bleibt oder in die Luft geht, weil das halt auch durch Wissenschaft belegte und äh, durch Wissenschaft geförderte Sachen sind, die dann halt einfach entwickelt wurden, die man genießt. Es ist ja kein Hexenwerk. Leute fragen ja nicht, oh ja, aber das Auto, das geht nicht, wir müssen mit Kutschen und so, außer du bist in so einer armischen Gruppe und selbst da, äh, naja. We're not drawing conclusions. We understand the mechanisms that made that car work. There is no theories and no, no disputed conclusions involved there. It's not a good analogy. Can I admit a great compromise that we have to explain? Er sagt, ähm, das ist keine gute Analogie, weil es gibt da keine Theorien oder Sachen, die nicht belegbar sind bei einem Auto. Experience being against the grain people is we have to literally sit in a group and decide whether or not we can afford to have an opinion. And that's, that's tough. I, I actually, I, I, I agree with you there because we're the same thing. I mean, I, I think skeptics go through this and atheists go through this. I don't believe in God. When I'm around religious people, I take a chance socially when I tell them I'm an atheist. So I know it, it takes some courage to follow your beliefs and I appreciate that. But I think I've done a lot of research in that venue too and it's not something i choose to believe in it's something i have to believe in based on the evidence see what i get from you guys is that uh seeing is believing so how come you believe in god or jesus you haven't I, seen them. neither of them Steig eins. <laughs> Oof. right i've seen so. evidence though <laughs> Nettes Argument, er sagt, Ali wieder Löschen auf Chefbasis, alle. er sagt, wie kannst du etwas in Frage stellen, was du, nicht glaub, was du nie gesehen hast, wenn du doch gleichzeitig Jesus siehst, äh, Jesus nicht sehen kannst und Gott glaubst, obwohl du ihn nie gesehen hast. Die Antwort von war, was Belege gibt, krank. Well, exactly, so we are looking for evidence. There are many, many other evidences for Earth not being flat. My point is that these, are, these experiments clearly show that the Earth is globe. And you don't need to go outside it's the globe conclusion. to see its globe. It's a, it's a theoretical... You told me you want the evidence. If you're That's saying not... that you look only to see something, then I dispute your belief system in God and Jesus or uh, Yehovah or Buddha or Zarathustra or anyone. You keep going back to religion as Because being Because it's conclusion. coming from there. No, you think no, you do no, have, have the evidence. I have evidence. I have evidence. You quoted at the... Mm. Beginning she pointed of this, out physics. You quoted... 
by Bill. Of That's course the I did, reason. but that is not the only reason I know what the shape of the earth is. And you keep, well, that's a fallacy. It's not fallacy. It Actually, fallacy. it is not fallacy. It is a fallacy. You just you. <laughs> I'm a theoretical physicist. Uh, what I'm doing is the combination of string theory and cosmology. So we try to understand what happened during the Big Bang, after the Big Bang, or even before the Big Bang. Was er hofft er sich von der Diskussion heute? Well, I hope I would be able, particularly to the young generation, to convince them that first they should think critically and don't believe anything. They shouldn't take anything for granted. Look at the evidences and examine those evidences. And throw away uh, those uh, claims that are not evidence-based. Um, science, not... Oh God, finale Gedanken, Jesus Christ. Lass uns das mal aufnehmen, mal sehen, was das, wie die Conclusion von jedem Einzelnen ist. Not to put it down, but when you're talking about rocket science, this is very difficult for the majority of people to understand, and it's designed that way. And so, in a lot of ways, hiding behind rocket science is similar to religion. If you look at the Catholic Church back in the days, only we can interpret the Bible. You have to listen to what we say. So in a lot of ways, we're getting that same notion from science that says, only we can interpret what these numbers are. You just need to trust us. Und es ist auch gut, dass du das nicht machen musst, weil das Ergebnis von dem, was du interpretierst, sehen wir hier sehr, sehr gut. Und es ist Gott sei Dank etwas nicht, worauf man sich stützen sollte. Holy shit. But then when we actually do go and test some of their equations and they don't work. Ja, weil du halt, so traurig ist es, wahrscheinlich nicht den Intellekt hast. Also ich, ich gehe ja auch nicht, ich bin ja beispielsweise, wenn mir jemand was von, von Quantenphysik erzählt und er mit gebild, ein gebildeter Mann in Quantenphysik sagt, hey, thematisch habe ich mich mit dem Thema auseinandergesetzt, ich bin studiert, bla bla bla, das so und so, so und so dann gehe ich als kaputter Streamer, der gerade so eine, eine Sinuskurve irgendwie oder eine Cosinuskurve zeichnen kann, doch nicht irgendwo hin und beschäftige mich mit diesem Thema, um den zu widerlegen, weil die Qualifikation nicht da ist. Warum sollte man mir glauben? Ich bin irgendein dahergelaufener Dude. Was soll das? Does that beg the question for us to go and test ourselves? Absolutely. I would say, you know, one great thing about science is its predictability. Let's for some moment, for a short moment, assume that your model, this flat earth model is correct. I don't know what does it buy for us? What, the, what does it predict for us? Mm -hmm. uh, so my question for you guys uh, would be next time, uh, bring me something from your theory, your model, that you can predict something which the globe earth uh, model cannot predict then i would change my mind i would just say that don't believe anything that i've said you got to do your own research and i think what you'll find is that you'll see that a puzzle piece doesn't fit and the only way you're going to do that is if you put your own eyeballs on it i don't blame people for being skeptical i'm skeptical about a lot of different things i applaud that instinct in you But you have to go beyond just not believing in something. Ask the hard questions. Ask what qualifies a YouTuber, a book author, anywhere else you're getting this information. What qualifies them to make wide-ranging comments about the shape of the earth? Yeah. Look, anybody who can overturn Einstein or some major theory is going to be eventually written in the halls of science for the rest of their lives. But they have to come up with the goods. They have to show uh, good science-based evidence that what they say is true, and they have to withstand the test of time and peer review and the rigors of the scientific method. All right. Thank you. Großartig. Ollie, it was nice to meet you. Sehr gut. Very nice to meet you. Großartiges Schlusswort übrigens. Good to see you.
Hey, I want to get you a copy of my novel. Oh, good job. Yeah, yeah, uh, hey, good job. I, 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 thank you guys for watching this episode of Middle Ground. That's right. Cuss. We know that one of the biggest requests we get is we just want longer episodes. We want to know more about these stories. We want to hear more about the Middle Ground. Ich werde dieses Video guten Herzens verlinken können, weil es am Ende wirklich etwas ist, das ein unmögliches Thema zumindest versucht hat, in einem Dialog zu klären. Das Ergebnis, ich habe mir nicht vorstellen können, dass die Erde, dass sich jemand, der denkt, dass die Erde flach ist, auf irgendwie die Seiten wechselt. Ich habe das auch schon erklärt, wieso. Großes, großes, großes Video. Mein Kompliment. Auch sehr gut moderiert. Immer wenn es heiß herging, sofort reingeschaltet, damit die Sache nicht eskaliert. Großartig. Schaut euch das an. Abonniert diesen Kanal. Wirklich sehr, sehr gut. Hat mich weitergebracht. Natürlich nicht, was mein Wissen angeht, aber was den Umgang mit dieser Situation angeht.